everyone and welcome to Zexion Gamer Plays Sly Cooper. Now this is going to be the first game walkthrough I have on this channel. And I chose it partially because it's my favorite game. One of my favorite games ever and it is my favorite game on the PlayStation 2. I don't know why. Probably because it's thieving and fighting and role play to an extent. And I really like those kind of games. Um, and another reason is the fourth game of the franchise is coming out fairly soon, or it has already. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, even though the fourth game is not by Sucker Punch, it's still a continuation of the line, and I do want to celebrate it a little bit. So, we are going to start with the classic, even though the second and third are far more my favorite than the first. But the first is a classic, so we need to play it. So, let's get started. I'm going to erase that game. Yes. Okay. Sly, come in. Sly, do you read me? Yeah, I read you. Loud and very loud. Sorry, I'm a little nervous. Trying to break into police headquarters does that. Get over it, Bentley. You're safe in the van. I'm the thief here. I've got to steal that file from Inspector Carmelita Fox. Well, count on me to be your eyes and ears, buddy. Got their security system totally scoped. To get inside, you're gonna have to go through that air vent. All right, I'm going in. And don't forget you got me at the wheel, Sly. All you gotta do is grab the file and get back to the van. We'll do the rest. Just keep that engine running, Murray. I'll be down in no time. All right, so the main weapon Sly has is his cane. Um, it's apparently an heirloom in his family, or that sort of thing is anyway, with the, the C. Um, you'll see more of his family later on, I guess. So the first thing I would suggest is getting all the breakables you possibly can on this um, rooftop. Because, well, 100 coins gets you a lucky charm where the Lucky Charm is actually like a free hit point. There's no um, health bar mechanic in this game. You get hit once, you lose a life. So there's not much you can do around, you know, losing lives all the time. So you sort of just need to collect all the coins you can, get all the lives and Lucky Charms you can. You can hold a maximum of two Lucky Charms. If you get a third one, um, you get a life instead of a Lucky Charm. So you get two free, you get three hit points and then you die. Must be vertigo or something. Can you see those crazy blue lights? Really? I've read about this. Master raccoon thieves are able to sense thieving opportunities, which manifest themselves as unexplainable blue auras. Uh, according to my research, all you have to do is get near them and hold down the circle button, and you should perform a super sneaky master thief move. Hold down the circle button near blue auras. I'm on it. These blue auras come in mighty handy, um, especially when you don't know where you're going and you don't know if something is jumpable or not, or land, or something you can land on anyway. Be extra careful here, Sly. Break one of those laser beams and you'll set off the alarms. Not to mention you'll be fried to a crisp. Okay, so what you want to do is basically go... Well, Quick, Sly, the side. try to want to hop platform to platform platform, but I just epically failed, so just ignore that. <laughs> nice job. Right, You're so where you want to go? Inspector it's basically just a U-turn. Alright. Like climbing on a ledge over a very, very tall building and sneaking inside that way? Alright. So, there's a lot of breakables. Some things look like they'd be breakables, some are, and some aren't. I would just whack around. You, you can't really hurt yourself or anything by hitting things you're not supposed to. So, um, I would just go that way. Way to go, Sly! This is where Inspector Carmelita Fox stashes all her important files. I happen to remember the code. I the police security mainframe and discovered this vault's combo. Try dialing in nine three. Oh, seven. three seven. I am apparently dyslexic. Uh, I just made myself look like a jackass, but I think I knew the answer. <laughs> oh, excellent way to start off the let's play. Excellent. Nice job. You got it. If you come. 
come down through the fire escape and head through the parking lot. We'll be waiting in the getaway van. All right, so now we get to meet Miss Carmelita Fox. Criminal! You foolish raccoon. I've caught you red-handed. Ah, Carmelita. I haven't seen you since I gave you the slip in Bombay. Which reminds me, you need to return the Firestone of India to its rightful owners. Ah, uh -huh. and I was going to give it to you as a little token of my... Hey, you know, that bazooka really brings out the color of your eyes. Very fetching. You think? This pistol packs a paralyzing punch. You ought to try it. Might snap it really does go with her eyes. <laughs> and give up our little rendezvous. Plenty of time for that once you're safely behind bars. Love to stick around and chat, but I just dropped by to pick up this case file. I think you've had it long enough. All right. So the thing to note about Carmelita is that she has sucky aim, but she happens to love to hit the areas that she predicts you're going to jump or move next. So you have to sort of act a little erotically. You'll see what I mean when I go over here. She sort of aims where you're going to go. Or she predicts where you're going to go. With some accuracy. Sometimes she'll be dead on, sometimes she'll be way off. Um, if you move just a little bit Once again, my before she launches, she'll find target herself. I was surprised to see how well she took it. Finally, the secret police file I've been searching for all these years. With this, I could avenge my family and regain possession of our most valued treasure. It all began when I was just a kid, bouncing on my father's knee. You see, I come from a long line of master thieves who kept all their secrets of sneaking and stealing in an ancient book. The Thievius Raccoon. Anyone who read it learned to be especially sneaky, which is why we specialize in stealing from criminals. After all, there's no honor, no challenge, no fun stealing from ordinary people. You rip off a master criminal and you know you're a master thief. Well, on the night I was supposed to inherit the book, five visitors came unannounced to our door. My father fought to protect us, but the gang of villains known as the Fiendish Five overpowered him and ransacked our house until they found the Thievius Raccoonus. Our family's manual of thieving greatness fell into their filthy hands. They tore the book into five pieces and split it up, each villain disappearing to the farthest corners of the world to commit dastardly crimes. Broken alone, I was dumped at the town orphanage. There I met two guys who became my lifelong buddies and trusted crew. Bentley, techno genius and strategist supreme, and Murray, part-time driver and full-time burden. Together we pledged to track down the fiendish five, avenge my father, and steal back the Thievius Raccoonus. I knew I was about to face the toughest test of my life. On this mission, I would either become a master thief ancestors before me, or fit and allow my family name to bite the dust. Pretty basic. <laughs> that was a nice piece of work back there at police headquarters, Sly. Come see me if you want to check out any of your old movies. I've got them all here on my computer. Use the left analog stick to move around the hideout and the X button to select things. I've already plotted a route to our first all right. target. So basically the whole story behind this is to go to these places, find the Fiendish Five, take each of them down, and take all of the Thievius, or the Thievius Raccoonus pages back. Pretty simple storyline. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on Sir Raleigh the Frog. As a young man, this hot-tempered frog grew bored of his life of luxury and privilege. On a whim, he tried his hand at a bit of piracy and found it to his liking. Raleigh, who quickly became addicted to crime, was brought into the Fiendish Five as chief machinist, where his evil tinkering genius rose to new heights. The last reported sighting of this mad machinist was off the soggy coast of the Isle of Rath, a small island uncomfortably situated in the middle of the perilous Welsh Triangle.
All right. So, here we go. First place you get to discover. Now, what I highly suggest is looking around, breaking everything you possibly can in sight. Um, because when you get 100 coins, you get a lucky charm. So, you really do I want fly. to um, I just spotted something that's going to things. complicate the mission. See that nasty looking gate? It blocks the only road leading into Raleigh's hideout. No problem. I'll just use my climb move. Okay, but remember, you can only climb on certain objects, like pipes and ropes. Yeah, sure, and like that ladder there? That is correct, but do not forget, Sly. You have to get close. Then hit the circle button to grab it. Yeah, 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 relax, Bentley. I live for this stuff. Yeah, and that's what worries me. <sighs> Stop being a downer, Bentley. All right, so. I do plan to do 100% walkthrough of this game just because I love this game so much. I'm going to try to beat it regardless if I had tried to or not. Now, these bottles in front of me here are um, clues, which Bentley will explain. So, in most of these places, there's um, between 20 and 40 of those clues. Now, those clues lead to a safe hidden somewhere in the area. So, you do want to try and explore every nook and cranny of a map. A lot of the times, the bottles are hidden off the map just a little ways where it would take an extra second or two to get. Um, so, let's go do this. Now you just need to really be careful what you're doing. What I suggest is not go up the ladder way, but go up this way, just because you can get two bottles this way that a lot of people normally forget. I think when I played the first time, I was like, where are the rest of them? And it turns out those two, actually these four, were um, the ones I couldn't find. Hold on, Sly. See those searchlights? One careless step, and you'll be subjected to acute combustion. You done whining? Let's go. I'm just trying to keep you alive, partner. Fortunately for you, I launched these signal repeaters throughout Raleigh's fortress. Get close to one, and I can checkpoint your progress. Nice. And all right, so not too hard to figure this place out. If you see one of those alarms, I would break those right away, because that actually will shut off the searchlights. Now what I would do is, before you go attempting these bottles, I would just get... I would get rid of any enemies before you go after bottles, just because it does... they can get in the way. Um, I would just kill any enemies before you start collecting things. That's all I would suggest. So, we'll go this way. If you ever go backwards and you want one of these to save your progress, if you hit it or swing your cane through it, it does take a picture and it does save you at that point. Um, there's been a lot of times where I've gone backwards and trying to get According things. According to my amphibio positioning system, that big blimp is where Raleigh is hiding out. You know... That blimp looks more like a machine than a hideout. You're right, Sly. That is a storm machine. It's the reason why it never stops raining around here. That explains all the wrecked ships. But why would Raleigh want bad weather at his own hideout 24-7? Beats me. The rain or shine, I'm going to steal my family's book back. And if Raleigh gets in my way, it's on. It is on. All right, so the thing I'd be careful with those guys is they do breathe fire. <laughs> Um, I usually wait until he, they breathe their first one before I even decide to go after attacking them. Um, right, this water is terribly annoying. I would just keep, I would just jump all the way across. Now, you want coins and you want bottles. Those are the two things you want to, you want to get at all times. Um, there are some bottles where you won't be able to get them until you get a certain power up. So. Just jump and hit the circle button. Got it. Jump and hit the circle button to grab onto hooks. 
Now then. You want to, do you want to keep looking behind you occasionally? Because you'll often miss bottles or lives or coins or anything like that. So. I used to be so... Ah. Well, there you go. Now you got to see a dying animation. That was not <laughs> intentional. Um, but no, I used to be so obsessed with this game that... Uh, that I went outside one day and I found a stick out in the woods and um, it had a curved edge like the beginning part of the curved part of his cane like it had the handle and then the curved part that led up to that C shape or part of the C shape and I remember when I was a kid I used to um, I made a cane that was pretty close to it um, sadly it couldn't hold my weight on anything when I was trying to um, grab onto hooks or branches or something but um, it was still still pretty nerdy of me to even try <laughs> to make one so um, yeah I was I was fairly obsessed and I think I still am um, I was very sad when Sly Cooper was coming out one on the PS3 and I don't have a PS3 or um, and when it wasn't by Sucker Punch because I think Sucker Punch did an awesome job on the first three and it kind of made me sad that they're not doing the fourth one um, so yeah, I was rather rather sad when I found that out because I took a look at the trailer and I'm like, okay, maybe they'll use the same mechanics, but no, they're not using the same mechanics. Um, the method they're using to um, to render out the game and make the characters, it's laughable. Um, I didn't find they were well developed um, in terms of the uh, the character quality at all. Um, I just found it was sad. Very, very sad. Oh, right. Okay, I know where to go. Um, yeah, sl all the characters look a lot fatter. The quality's not as great. Um, and you figure with the PS3, they would be able to make it look very high quality. Um, you would think that with the PS3 quality being higher that they'd do a better job on rendering a game out, but I still think the first three were the best um, I've seen previously fourth. Not not something I want to do. So I got all tw 20 clues, and now I'm at the safe. Now, the saves are hidden throughout the level, um, or a, the safe is hidden across the level. Not all the bottles are sitting out in plain sight either, some of them are locked in smaller safes, which you can just break with your cane and you get like th anywhere from two to four bottles out of it. Um, but here's the new move we just got, and not all of them are going to be are pages of the Thievius Raccoonus either. Um, some of them may be hints or what have you. There's a lot of different things you can get from those chests, but uh, you want to get a key at the end of each level. That is the objective. Okay, And these keys often lead to locks, which, just like this, are used to unlock new areas. Not all of them take only one key. Some of them take up to seven, eight, nine. I think one of them may take twelve in one of the later parts of the game. Um, Alright, so, now we're at what I call a, the hub, this but no, well, I'll let Bentley talk. That glint looks like the most secured location on this boat. If Raleigh's really as smart as his police files suggest, then that's where I'll find him. Wonderful idea, but your plan is flawed. 
Why? Because it's impossible to get near him. To access Raleigh's blimp, you would have to sneak through that high voltage power tube. To do that without getting electrocuted, you'd have to destroy that power generator. And to do that, you'd need two more of Raleigh's treasure keys, which are heavily guarded. Interesting. So when are you gonna get to the impossible part? Fine! But I warned you, I've marked the areas you need to hit with holographic markers. Follow them to your objectives. Thanks. Don't mention it. It's your funeral. Alright, so this area is what I call what I call the hub. Um, it's basically just um, an area where um, there's all different points where you can you, you choose where to go from there. There's not it's not just a linear path. Alright, so you can carry up to two. I've sort of already told you that. But you carry one, you have a silver charm. You carry two, you have a gold charm. And if you get a third one, which I may try to do, um, you get a life. And here's Raleigh. Subtitles. Um, options. Uh, okay, yeah, there's no no subtitles. Alright. You can hardly hear him. Raleigh's just a freak anyway. Alright, before I actually go into the first area to get the next treasure key, I am going to end it here. Um, episode one's a little long for this, but I figured it's a good little chance for everyone to get a taste of what Sly Cooper is. So, if you want to see the rest of it and go along with the rest of this journey, um, stay tuned for episode two. This is Zexian Gamer signing off.